Assalamualaikum and hello everyone to Cikgu Ana AF YouTube channel. I'm not Cikgu Ana but I'm a student. Before we start our video, don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button if you haven't. And do click the notification bell so you won't miss any latest video in the upcoming future. But before we jump into our video, let me change my clothes first. So, today's video is about how a balloon which is filled with helium can float outwards while another balloon which is filled with our own breath can't float outwards. All of these situations involve Archimedes principle. But before I started explaining about the balloons, let me tell you a little story about who is Archimedes and what is his contribution towards the field of science. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor and astronomer. He is regarded as one of the leading scientists in classical antiquity, considered to be the greatest mathematician of all time. Archimedes anticipated modern calculus and analysis by applying the concept of the infinitely small and the method of assertion to derive and rigorously prove a range of geometrical theorems, including the area of a circle, the surface area and volume of a sphere, and area of an ellipse, and many more. Okay, that's all about Archimedes. So, let me show you a simple situation about the balloons. Okay, imagine I am holding a balloon that is filled with helium here. But, what does this have to do with Archimedes? Isn't Archimedes is only about water? Ah, I'm so confused! Oh no, my balloon floated away! Aha, let me explain to you why. Okay, so this is the explanation. But before that, please bear in mind that the Archimedes principle states that an object that is partially or fully immersed in fluid will experience buoyant force that is equal to the weight of fluid displaced. And the formula for buoyant force is rho gv. Okay, imagine this balloon is filled with helium inside, and this is the air particle surrounding the balloon. The density for helium is 0.164 kg per meter cube, while the density of air particles surrounding this balloon is 1.225 kg per meter cube. Okay, imagine this balloon has a volume of 0.0141 meter cube, and the weight of this balloon is 0.1 newton. If you don't know what is 0.1 newton is, 0.1 newton is equals to 100 gram. Okay, now first we need to find the buoyant force of the air particles surrounding the balloon. Because of what? Because buoyant force is due to the weight of air surrounding particles. Okay, so we just use this formula. So the rho of air is 1.225 times with gravity 9.81 and the volume is 0.0141 Okay, so you will get 0.1694 Newton Okay, so we need to uh, place this value of buoyant force beside Okay, so next we need to find the weight of the helium inside the balloon So the formula of weight is W is equals to mg M is also known as rho V Okay, so we put in the value. So the row of helium is 0.164 times with the volume, 0.0141 times with the gravity, 9.81. And you will get 0.0227 Newton. Okay, so this is the weight of the helium. Next, you need to plus with the weight of the balloon. Plus. 0.1 you will get 0.1227 newton okay so if we want to determine whether the balloon will float out or not we need to find the resultant force first okay so if we want to find the resultant force we need to know that this buoyant force need to minus with the weight so the value of buoyant force is 0.1694 minus the weight 0.1227 So you will get 0.0467 Newton So the answer is in positive So the balloon will float outwards So we know that this balloon will accelerate 0.0467 Newton Outwards But what about the balloon that is filled with air inside of it. 
What a good question, Mr. Kamit. Okay, now imagine the balloon is filled with air. So, the density of air inside the balloon is equal to the air outside of the balloon. So, if the density between this gas and this gas are equal, so this balloon will not float outwards because the density is the same. But why does the balloon that was made by the NASA can fly higher than the balloon that was made for any celebration? Huh, that is another question for another day. That's all for me. Thank you.